Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the 16th week in ordinary time. Our master reciter today is Father Louis Ponsalan, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. Somebody said to Jesus, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside. They want to speak with you. But Jesus said to him in reply, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Here are my mother and my brothers, because whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is brother and sister and mother to me. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly seen. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants. Mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the children of Israel marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud. Upon the Egyptian force, a glance that threw it into a panic, and he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army that had followed the children of Israel into the sea. 
not a single one of them escaped. But the children of Israel had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall despoil them. Let us, Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. When you stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. Let us, sing Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. We now rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told Jesus, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside. They want to speak with you. But Jesus said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward the disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven, is my brother and sister and mother. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Who is my mother and who are my brothers? 
My dear friends in Christ, it sounds weird for the Lord to ask these questions. Does he not know his mother? Of course he does. Mary is the mother of Jesus. Does he not know his father? At least the foster father? Of course he does. Joseph the carpenter. The brothers and the sisters that the gospel reading for today talks about, they are not biological brothers and sisters of the Lord because Jesus is an only son of God. Mary did not give birth to anybody else except Jesus. And so why did Jesus ask the question, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? My dear friends, does it mean that Jesus ignore his own relatives? Does it mean that he is denying who his mother is? And the brothers are probably cousins and relatives of the Lord? Does he not love his kinship or his kin and his relatives? His love and respect for his mother and kin is unquestionable. But on this occasion, when many gathered to listen to Jesus, our Lord pointed to another and to a higher reality of relationship. There is a higher form of relationship. There is a nobler reality of kinship. It does not have to be biological. It does not have to be physical. What is the essence of Christianity? It is certainly more than doctrine. Christianity is more than precepts. Christianity is more than following the commandments. First and foremost, Christianity is a relationship. It is a relationship of love and unity with God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and with all who belong to God as His children. Because the gracious gift of God to us is our adoption. We are the adopted children, adopted sons, and daughters of God. My dear friends, this gift enables us to recognize all those who belong to Christ as our brothers and sisters. They do not have to be our physical or biological brothers and sisters. But there is a higher form of relationship that is much nobler and higher than physical relationship. And that relationship is a spiritual relationship. That relationship basically belongs to our relationship with God. I remember an early martyr who said, that a Christian's only relatives are the saints. What does this mean? Those who follow Christ and who seek the will of God, they enter into a new family, a family of saints here on earth and a family of saints in heaven. In other words, to make the long story short, in our gospel for today, the Lord changes the order of relationships and He shows that true kinship is not just a matter of flesh and blood. And so who really belongs to Jesus? Our Lord defines how one becomes a brother and sister and mother. Pointing to the disciples probably. And the Lord says, Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven, just like the apostles, 
is my mother, my brother, and sister. My dear brothers and sisters, you are not my real brothers and sisters, but why do I call you brothers and sisters? We are not blood relatives, but you are my spiritual brothers and sisters. This is what the gospel tells us. All our relationships on earth are secondary. Our primary and most important relationship is with God. God tops the list. Everybody else, including our natural family, including our physical, biological brothers and sisters and relatives, everybody else is secondary. Amen. Let us all stand. Gathered together as a community, let us ask God our Father for our needs. The response will be, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us. That the church may become a true family, faithful to the will of the Father and to the teachings of Christ, we pray. Father, Father in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. That government leaders may not enact laws or initiate programs contrary to our faith and morals, we pray. Father, Father in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. That families may become true brothers and sisters by their love for one another, as willed by Jesus, we pray. Father, Father in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. For the most vulnerable in the population, our senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, the unemployed and the poor, that they may remain resolute in their belief that God will protect them from illness and help them during these trying times, we pray. Father, Father in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. That we may show concern for those suffering in any form, that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God, we pray. Father, Father, in the, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. That the faithful departed may come to their everlasting home, we pray. Father, Father in, the in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Father, Father in, the in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. Bless us. Father, help us to become your faithful children, obedient to your holy will. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ka man 
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what it has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from an ending death. By rising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Grace Aceron Rogelio, Felipe Aceron, Alfi Elling, Lilia D., Santiago Barroa, Mary Howe Tecneo, Mario Quinto, Felicidad Baliari, Robert Edwin Tam, Purificacion Zerudo, Julie and Julio and Maria Teresa Pardines, Anali Pascasio, Roque Aguilon, Zinaida Gamboa, and Druel Tabasa, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, St. Apollinaris, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the way Jesus prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, we as we forgive those, those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and distress as we wait for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the, hel on the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the, the, kingdom power, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. You said, Lord, to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and nourishment that can only come from the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. With each other, with a sign of peace. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven 
his brother and sister and mother. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ, Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire, still burning through the ages, still present in our lives. in our lives Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for the disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. 
We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Rinadimets, pray, pray for, for us. us. Be seated for a few minutes, for one minute or two. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning to everybody, to our live stream mass goers in the Philippines and in other countries. Binabati po namin kayo ng isang magandang umaga coming from us here at the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City, Philippines. My name is Father Louis Punsalan, SVD. Ako po ang responsable sa pagpapasalamat sa mga patuloy na tumutulong sa pag-aaral ng ating mga seminarista dito sa Christ the King where they stay for four years to study philosophy until they acquire a degree in philosophy. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nagpadala ng tulong at patuloy na tumutulong for the scholarships of our seminarians. This is something that we will be eternally grateful for. Sana ay pagpalain din kayo ng Diyos and we can promise you, we can assure you of our prayers and mass intentions as we go along the way. At this point, gusto ko pa rin pong patuloy na manawagan sa mga nais tumulong sa pag-aaral ng ating mga kabataang nagpapari dito sa Christ the King. I have been always saying in the past that they stay in Christ the King for four years. Four years for the degree in philosophy. After four years in Christ the King, they will go to Tagaytay for one year of postulancy. After one year of postulancy in Tagaytay, they will go to Mindoro, to Calapan, for one year of novitiate. And then they go back to Tagaytay for four years of theology plus one year or two of practical work or regency. So this is the formation program of the SVD in the Philippines. It's a long journey. Pero ang hinihingi lamang po namin ay ang pagtulong sa mga kabataang ito who are mostly coming from handicap, financially handicapped families in the Philippines na sana ay matulungan sila sa kanilang board and lodging and uh, tuition here in the seminary because not all of them come from families that are capable of sustaining and financing their studies. So if you want to connect with us, to communicate with us, and if you want to ask more questions and you want to know the mechanics, we are flashing in front of you in your, on your TV screen or on your computer monitor or cell phone monitor. Our, our email address, ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. I am the one responsible for that email address. So, I will be able to read your emails and I will take care of responding also to your email. We also maintain a bank account with Banco de Oro, which we are also flashing in front of you this morning. Banco de Oro, account name, Divine Word Mission Seminary, Inc., account number 000-220-191247. Pakipicturan po ninyo para hindi ninyo makalimutan. 000-220-191247 And we also maintain two GCash numbers. If you would like to send your help directly via GCash, 
the GCAS numbers are under my name and under the name of our Rector Father Tagura. Kahit po alin yan sa dalawa pwede. 0967-318-9830 0967-318-9830 And the other GCash number is 0945-743-0935 0945-743-0935 Maraming maraming salamat po. May God continue to bless you, bless all of us and deliver us from all harm especially in relation to COVID and the Delta variant. Mag-ingat po tayong lahat because it is just around us and we do not know and we cannot see the variant. God bless all of you and we hope to communicate with you at some future time. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Crown me with many crowns, the Lamb upon His throne, our Calvary. i